round two, currently 1-0, somehow beat Mono Blue Tron. I don't know. Uh, and the sand is actually bad enough to mulligan, I think. But yeah, I guess I guess Mono Blue Tron never did particularly well with, uh, like, you know, decks that kind of just swarm the board unless they hit no stone, so. But we have so many cards that they just can't beat, like the Ugins and whatnot. But yeah, gotta bottom that Vendillion click because we don't have double blue. Maybe that's one of the issues with playing a bunch of Razor Verge thickets. Hopefully this bird gets bolted. That's what I'm hoping for. Windbrisk kites. Well, I guess we're going to need those engineered explosives. I think it's better to lead on Selfless Spirit. More likely this gets killed or traded or something. Our draw is very anemic. Why can't we just always have Tireless Tracker? Maybe I should have four of that card in my deck, if that's the type of thing that I'm asking myself. Soul Sisters. Do I want to path the Soul Defender? I don't think so. Not yet, anyway. Might want to save it for like a Sarah Ascendant? They're probably not Spectral Processioning anytime soon. Maybe they are going to linger some souls. We'll see. I think I'm just going to play two animals this turn. Take them to the zoo. The bird, cleric, elemental ooze zoo. Just a menagerie of random animals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Grizzly Bears, your turn. Drew all our two drops. Oh, there, there she is. The Sarah ascended herself, and our opponent appears to be mana screwed. Roar, here they come. Rumble, rumble. So many grizzly bears. Modern is weird. Format where people could kill you on turn two, theoretically, and I'm over here casting grizzly bears. My opponent's playing one mana one ones. Was that like Elite Sentry or something? I don't know. Grizzle Bizzle. Yeah, that's like slightly annoying, but we can always path a Sarah Ascendant. Well, opponent shows me two procs, two rangers, honor the pier. I can't really beat those cards, but I certainly can't beat active Sarah Ascendant, so we are going to path that. Well, I should not F6, because I do want to eat that martyr also. Zoop. All right, we'll save that for the old Tracker Rooney if he ever shows up. My homie. can always company into him, then play this after. If we draw another land, we'll probably play this one uh, so that we can company and then play a land and sack a clue. But yep, that's it. That's all I got. Your turn. Please don't spectral procession me. Probably can't beat it. Just trade off selfless spirit with a token. Eh, probably makes pretty good. Still has the same five cards. Oh. Oh my. Oh me oh my. Now we can probably beat spectral procession. Maybe. It's hard to say. No blocks, huh? Get some. 
I don't even know how much that is. That's a million. 13? You're at 11 life? Okay, okay. Probably going to want to ghost quarter my township, though. I would love to get an island. I think we just jam with her, buddy. So if he sacks the martyr, I can just make this a 5-5 five five and we can trade, or I can sack the spirit too. Just gonna block a voice. All right then. I'm kind of down with that. I mean, I get it. Your pride mate is big. My ooze is about to be 6-6, six, six, though. What's up? Oh, another soul warden. That pride mate's enormous. Maybe we have to stop attacking on the ground now. I don't think there's any reason not to clear my opponent's graveyard. So it loses a six. I could make it a seven by sacking the spirit. I think that's maybe legit. Because once that pride mate's gone, we can actually just start attacking on the ground again. So yeah, I think I attack with spirit news and bird, obviously. Taking 10. Interesting. I don't think I want to really Vendillion during draw step because it doesn't actually accomplish much. Too much life. Too much life. Do I want to jam this Vendillion? I could like take the other procession or take the honor of the pure. So do I care about the proc or the honor? Probably the proc. And then I felt like I was gonna do something else. Just eat their graveyard. Ow. Tilt. So attack with everyone, I'm just dead on the swing back, so I should probably not do that. I 
feel like I should trade now while I can, but then that makes my elemental worse. Oh, we need a reflector mage or something real bad. Real bad. Kind of want to beat up some of these tokens before he plays his thing, though. He puts the other two on Selfless Spirit, I'll just let that happen. If he puts two on birds, I'll probably sack Selfless Spirit. Yeah, if he just takes some damage, then I'm fine with that too. Oh no, another Ghost Quarter. Oh no. Yup. It's gonna get like some Sarah ascendance and whatnot. All right, so procs are down, one ranger's down. So he gets martyr Sarah ascendance. Tilt. Ugh. This is rancid. I think we might need our bird for mana and to make our elemental Ds. Oh, please let me punish him. Company into Mage and Tireless Tracker. Let's go. Eh. It's not bad. It's definitely not the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. <clears throat> so now we're gonna try and clean up these tokens. Oh wow, they just took it. If that's the case, I should have attacked last turn. I wanted to trade that for the tokens so that uh, I could potentially Start attacking with Spell Queller when I use that. But yeah, I'm basically just going to Spell Quell the, the Sarah Ascendant. And they have two Ascendants! No! This is a travesty. Forty two? Forty four? So much life. Well, I don't have twenty six power that I can put in front of that thing, unfortunately, but I do have a pretty clean block. Tilt, tilt, tilt. Maybe I can hit with both elementals. No, maybe. So I want to go block, 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 yeah. We can get them with both. Gotta put some pressure on them. Yup, that's a card.
Tracker one time. Give me a shot. Let me keep playing. Now, Cat Tribal just going off. Womp womp. I might have like one more turn, but not really. All right, explosives definitely in. Probably the dismember. Spell skites. Uh, can maybe soak up a path or something, but. Ugh. Sometimes they have wrath, so I might want to keep the spirit, even though it's pretty bad. Yeah, I think that's that's about it. That's about all we got. If we had some witnesses. Maybe we're just supposed to sideboard witness, I don't know. They have sixty one cards. That's so many. Well we have companies so we're keeping it. Bird? Into bird bird. We also don't have a lot of lands, and we do have a lot of creatures, so our company might just whiff. Sunlance! I love it. I also have a bunch of white creatures in my deck, which is great. Well, this might be one of the spots where I just hold company to snipe with Spell Queller. Hopefully they don't proc, okay. Yuck. Hitting two grizzly bears is not what I wanted. Ah, oh, there it is. We found him. Unfortunately, I think I want to hold back with a voice and hold on with Spell Queller. I don't like it, though. Jesus. We really need to Spell Queller that one. That's going to get out of control. So do we bounce the Soul Warden? That's the question. I think that is also the answer. Get to play this fun little sub game where we try and keep their life total under 30. With a bunch of grizzly bears, is kind of tough. We're going to do it. Oh, no. I'm not sure if Dismember in the Life Gain deck is a combo or not a combo. Well, path has got to be good. Not sure what, if anything, we're using it on quite yet. But it has got to be good. Two, four, six, eight. You're at five. Scoos. Might 
the path of Soul Warden, actually. Just not let him gain any life and then force him to trade away with my dorks. So they do have two more hawks that they could gain life with. So yeah, I think I just have to do this. No! Ugh. That stinks. We needed that. We needed that to hold back their ascendance. For this turn, at least. Um, so do we exile anything? I mean, we could gain some life. I think I'd rather just keep the creatures there for a future ooze, but I guess, yeah, enough things are gonna die. I, sh I should probably should have just, just let it go, man, just let it go. So this is only eight damage. Okay, I'm fine with that. Oh, we're trading with a voice. I'm also fine with that. Now, we bouncy bouncy one of your ascendants. Alternatively, could bouncy bouncy a squadron hawk and then they couldn't play either. Island? No! Not a lot of mileage out of this mana base. I said that in the deck tech. So they gain six. Eight total, I guess. They end up at nine. And I lose a creature and they have three hawks. All right, game on. Let's let's do it. Ooh, ooh, it's not a bad one. Oh, they have the other ascendant, not another hawk. Yeah, I'm silly. I knew that. Should have known that. Oh, getting a little frisky, huh? All right. So do I keep something back to block the Ascendant profitably? Yes. Just means I'm taking less damage, so might as well. Why is he just chumping? That's wild. Guess he knows he's not going to be able to attack back, but it's still strange. I feel like I'm supposed to block at some point. Just makes my elemental worse though. Uh, I should probably play this first. I might not play because of Wrath of God though. And it doesn't make it lethal. Okay. This is this is suspect. This is very suspect. Yeah, that's right. Maybe we should have kept one of those voices. No. Stupid deck. Is there any gasoline in my deck at all? Ooh, Reflector Mage. It's a Dece.
Oh, baby. I think I can only attack with the mage. I can attack with the bird too, but it doesn't really change anything. Three life points, friend. What you got? Death by Birds of Paradise. <clears throat> Alright, maybe we should have these Thalias. Like, they have Procession, Honor of the Pure, and Wrath of God, whereas I don't have much. Maybe I just want more Finks, too. Less Spell Quellers. They have Dismember and Path. I still want all the paths and the dismember. So where does that leave us? Cutting the birds? Alright. Booked. Booked. Cutting birds mostly because of Wrath of God. And because these games are going to go pretty long. Opponent may or may not be path to exiling me. So. Feel like it's fine. Maybe I'm supposed to cut a second one. But I do want one on turn one. And there, there we go. We've done it. Turn two kitchen fakes coming right on up. Oh, yeah. What land do I want? Plains? Maybe just get green white. I'm playing a bunch of stupid kitchen fixes, so. Should be fine, right? Right? I don't think I'm supposed to Thalia there to prevent them from proccing, but maybe I am. Oh, path me? Yes. Goodbye, kitchen fix. I'm stuck on two, light on resources. Just run it back. It was so successful the last time. Probably gonna path the primate when they attack. You can also see just taking it and then reflector maging it. <coughs> yeah, Hawks. Hawks a bit of a beaten. Might path Pride Mate and Reflector Mage the Hawk. If I draw a land, I can't say no to Tireless Tracker, though. And there it is. I don't think he's blocking with the soul's attendance. So we're just going to do all this now. Oh baby. We we are really doing it now. Don't think I'm sacking any clues here. I think I'm just going to Reflector Mage and Thalia. That's so bad against Wrath, though. It's bad to, like, lose these to Wrath and have him pick up his creature. I guess I get Finx and Voice Back, plus I'll have three clues. So maybe I'm not supposed to play Thalia. Maybe I'm supposed to crack a clue. Ooze is good follow-up post-Wrath, also.
Could bounce a hawk. Yeah, it's probably better. Then they just can't play anything. I get to hit them for a bunch. A lonely hawk still chugging along. Ooh, another tracker. What's up? Right, let's sec first before we figure out what we're trying to do here. The voice that protects against wrath a little bit better. Uh, so I could sack another clue or play Thalia. But I'm definitely playing voice. So if he wraths, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. If he goes to 5, I get two elementals and a Finx. And he can maybe play a Squadron Hawk. So he's just Dobbs. So I think I can play the Thalia too. Oh, I forgot that he's gaining four life, actually. Hmm. Did forget that. This kind of makes up for it on the next turn, though, because they're, they're going to be dealing two damage while my opponent gains two life, so I think it's kind of worth it. And then if my opponent draws, like, Path or Dismember, it prevents them from playing two Hawks and using a removal spell, so kind of matters. Oh, he just tried to pay costs. Oh, it was just another squadron. Okay. All right. Opponent is hellbent. They're still attacking me. Stop it. I don't like it. Um, Should probably crack a clue before I decide what I'm doing. Another land. So might play tracker. And if I'm going to do that, potentially losing this in combat, I should just do this first. I guess my opponent's pretty high. I should probably do some math and figure out, like, if I'm actually going to die to, like, Hawk beatdowns. So this is 17. Opponent just has to block Tracker with one thing. So, yeah, maybe I'm just supposed to play Ooze instead of a Tracker. Either way, playing the land. Roar. Here they come. I guess my opponent's out is maybe drawing a Wrath, so they might just try and block a bunch of voices down. And I can potentially play around that, but at the same time, if, if my opponent Wraths and they just end up having nothing, then I have two trackers and potentially an ooze, depending on how combat goes, so... I think I'm fine with that. Man, Tracker's dope! It's so good! So they're taking 11 and trying to kill me, which I don't appreciate. But I get it. I do. Alright, so Wrath is no longer an out. I have two blockers. Uh, so even if they draw another Honor to the Pure, that's only 9. And I get to gain 2 life. Or one life, I guess. So I'm chumping whatever you attack with. That's definitely true. I guess if it's this attack, then I get to gain two life. Because I can block with bird, <clears throat> exile their hawk, and then my bird's dead, and I can exile that. So, they're pretty dead, I think. Kind of just trying to close off the routes. Gotta put pressure on them. It might seem silly because they're going to gain 40 life over the course of the game, but you do have to put pressure on them because it makes all their cards worse. And it's like pretty tough to actually fully stabilize. One 
we got? Path my tracker. So sad, I feel like he should be able to give himself a clue. So now is the plan trade off with voices? So it might mean that I don't attack with voices. So this is 10, they have to block three things. I feel like that's good enough. And this, this helps me, like, cut off the routes a decent amount. I'm trying to assign blocking order. It's not working. Dragging creatures left or right. I am trying both of those things. Eh. Why? Why? Why can't I assign blockers? I want to kill the Soul Warden. Eh. Why is this just not working? Ah, oh, I better not lose because of that. Oh, oh. Now we can. Weird. So they're dead if they wrath, so we should just play out all our trackers. And draw a bunch of cards. Bunches and bunches of magic cards. Whee! No more lands. Your turn. Only four clues. Glad I added that second Temple Garden at the last second, because running out of like lands to fetch with Tracker against a death with, deck with Path to Exile would be pretty bad. But we did it. 